बिल हमारे विंसेंट पाला जी ने लाया है डिस्ट्रिक्ट काउंसिल और रीजनल काउंसिल के जरिए ये और भी मजबूत होगा ये आपके कहना है नाउ आई इनवाइट मिस्टर थम्स ऑफ बॉइथे टू टू हैव अफ यू वर्ड्स यस यस थैंक यू मिस्टर चेयरमैन for giving this opportunity to participate in the bill moved by Vincent Pala regarding the amendment of the provisions of six schedule in fact six schedule it is not in the entire area of the north east mizoram assam meghalaya they are having six schedule tripura there is including manipur they don't have six schedule but what i would like to say is six schedule provisions are need to be amended as proposed by pala because of the changing situation of economic and political scenario that itself has been met many years back there is no update ab uh, no updation has been met because of the, it may require amendment in the meantime what i would like to stress today is if the six schedule is amended likewise in manipur in 1971 this parliament enacted one act there is a manipur autonomous district council act 1971 after the act was amended and uh, enacted that has been handed over to the state government now it is purely under state government because of that paucity of fund and limited resources the district council six schedule is not extended to manipur no doubt but we have six district council there is senapati sadar hills trisanpur okrul tamenglon trisanpur chandil six district council we are having under which more than 1000 primary school up to class 5 has been entrusted to look after by the council and forest management health service and a number of development activities also handed to the district councils but to our surprise government of india after enactment of that six district council till today they have not given proper funding to the council there has been only interested to the state government as we know the state is manipur nagaland and some northeastern states we have limited resources we cannot mobilize properly development activities and lack of because of lack of funding from the center infrastructure development schooling for schooling and even school buildings are not properly constructed till today so i would like to the attention of this agas house particularly home minister Sri Rajiju, Honorable Minister, is here today. 
Please give more fun. Because the egg is there, but the fun is not there. There's a problem. Now, some states they are having six schedule. Some states they are having only regional council. Some states, like Manipur, they are having district council independent, local, we should say. But where should we take money for development activity? Once the central government come forward with certain specific policy and plan for development of those states which are not under six schedule, so that we can pace up developmental activity with our counterpart other states. Further, I would like to add another point. Manipur, as you know, there is a border with Myanmar. There is a foreign country. Law and order problem and smuggling, communication problem is there. The district council of Chandil district, Okul district, as a, here we have six district councils. They have tried their best to ensure proper administration, proper development. But as you know, without proper funding, border fencing, everything we cannot do. And recently also, a number of smuggled goods from Myanmar, drugs, and other unwanted elements, items are also there. All these things are to be carved. For that purpose, the state government plus local sub-government, the DC Council should be strengthened. Only then, proper administration can be ensured. Last but not the least, what I would like to stress here once again, border problem, then immigrant infection is there. For that purpose also, no police, no security, no center forces alone can do until unless cooperation extended from the local people, particularly to be mobilized by local self-government and district councils. So in this regard, I would like the central government to call at least a special meeting to all the district council chairmen to talk out such important activities. Only then we can have a better normal situation in the state. And with these few words, I would like to conclude my speech. And once again, I would like to draw the attention of the central government to look into the matter which we have pointed out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bharatendra Singh Ji, you have ample time to speak. 